The IAR 316B is a rare premium helicopter for France and War Thunder. Let's check it out. In the late 1950s, Aerospecial developed what would become the Alouette 3 helicopter. This was a follow-up to earlier designs, and it presented a logical evolution of the technology of the day. It was a fairly conventional design, and actually one of the first helicopters to use a turboshaft engine. It ended up being highly successful, with thousands built and dozens of variants produced for a variety of purposes. Among all of this was a deal with IAR in Romania to license local production of the design. The Romanian version was designated IAR 316 and it entered service in 1971, serving in a variety of civilian and military utility roles. The Romanian produced helicopters ended up being reasonably successful in their own right, and were exported to a few other countries in addition to being used domestically inside of Romania. And, like the Alouette 3 it was based on, the IAR 316 also got produced in a few subversions. The 316B was a combat-capable adaptation that was modified with stub wings to carry some weapons pylons and a modified cockpit for the second crew member to operate the weapon system. Now, given Romania's political orientation at the time, it was set up to carry Eastern Bloc weapons rather than French systems, and it was capable of carrying machine guns, rocket pods, and anti-tank missiles, but it didn't get any armor added, and it was still primarily a utility helicopter. The 316B is still in service, and it was actually developed into a more purpose-built attack helicopter called the IAR-317 with a redesigned cockpit, but the 317 never ended up entering production. In total, roughly 250 IAR 316s were built. What we get in War Thunder is the IAR 316B, a premium helicopter in the French tree. It sits at rank 5 with a battle rating of 8.3. This was originally added to the game as a pack vehicle in early 2019, but it was removed from the web store later the same year, and is currently one of the rarest helicopters in War Thunder. Your most likely chance to get this is if it's made available again during a holiday event. This is very much an entry-level helicopter, and it doesn't have any advanced targeting systems. You get a 20x optical zoom, which isn't bad for this BR, and night vision for the pilot, but that's really about it. The 316 gets a pair of built-in PKA machine guns fixed firing forward with 500 rounds each. These won't be able to really take anything out at BR-8, but they can be useful for scout tagging and doing superficial damage on ground targets. The loadouts you get include the S5K rockets in two sizes of rocket pods, along with anti-tank missiles. Unlike some other low-tier helicopters, you can actually take both rockets and missiles at the same time. You can also mix and match the rocket pods, but the rockets themselves are the same, and really it's just a question of how many you want. The weight difference is trivial. Your anti-tank missile is the 9M14 Maliutka 2. This is a semi-automatic command line of sight weapon with a heat warhead and pretty limited range. The warhead is adequate for this BR, but its effective range is less than 3 kilometers, so you have to get close up to use them. It's also worth mentioning that this missile is incredibly slow, flying at only 140 meters per second. The flight performance of the IAR-316B is kind of unique, with some features that I really like, but also a pretty massive shortcoming that I find a bit frustrating. The first thing to understand is that this helicopter only has a three-bladed main rotor, and it's not an especially lightweight design, so it doesn't really generate as much lift as a lot of the others. This results in a very sluggish collective response that feels a bit delayed. And in the footage, you can see a few times that I had a bit more trouble than usual maintaining a manual hover, and I even bounced a couple times because I didn't crank the collective soon enough on what should have been a pretty gentle descent. In general, you need to think about a full two seconds ahead with your collective inputs, and even on 100%, the climb rate is, frankly, just bad. It's also kind of slow. Under practical conditions, this helicopter's cruising speed is below 200 kilometers an hour. This isn't normally a huge issue, especially and you know at the lower tiers, but it informs your tactics a bit. 
and it makes early spawn heli rushes to land in a capture point kind of impractical with this one. However, even with all that said, I still like how the 316 flies overall. Its turn performance and cyclic response feels very intuitive, and a side effect of its poor lift coefficient is that it's actually pretty easy to keep this thing low and fly at or below treeline level in level flight without much difficulty. I had a lot easier time doing nap of the earth terrain hugging flight in this thing than I did in most other helicopters, even stuff at higher BRs. Of course, the flip side is that it's a real pain if you need to scale a cliff, and large mountains are going to slow you down quite a bit. Still, I personally like how this thing flies, even considering its limitations. Taking the IAR-316B out into battle is, like its flight model, kind of unique at the lower tiers. First, I want to mention that this helicopter is pretty easy to get into, and it usually only takes one or two kills worth of spawn points to fly out with a full weapon load. However, once you're out in a battle, you have to be pretty cautious. Being a completely unarmored utility helicopter, this thing is very easy to shoot down. And even though you don't have to worry about SAMs at this BR, at least not often, regular rooftop machine guns from player tanks are a credible threat, and this helicopter is a very easy target for low-flying planes. Low-flying planes, of course, being much more common in this BR range because they don't have to worry about surface-to-air missiles very often either. Now, this vulnerability is compounded by the slow flight time of the Maliutka missiles. No kidding, these things slow crawl into your targets, and I strongly suggest you practice zooming in and zooming out of your target view while your missile is in flight to take a wider look around and try to keep your situational awareness up. It's easy to get tunnel visioned into the targeting view, like literally, and since it takes so long for these things to fly in, you end up being pretty helpless just hovering around well within range of enemy fire. Plus, since these missiles are so slow, they're actually not difficult to avoid if the target knows you're shooting at them. The good news is that you get six of these missiles, and you can even go in for unguided rocket attacks when you're out of them. The bad news is that the IAR-316B is still incredibly easy to shoot down, has no defensive systems of any kind, and you're going to get wasted more often than not when you fly this thing out. In preparing this review, I was able to usually get at least one kill every time I flew out, but after the other team figured out I was up, usually didn't last long after that. In terms of helicopter PvE battles, this isn't a great option for that game mode. It's too slow to, you know, outspeed or even keep up with your teammates going for targets and objectives, so you're stuck playing catch-up. Plus, you have to get up close to use your weapons, and the AI-controlled SPAA isn't going to like that. Visually, this helicopter kind of looks like a jelly bean with a tail, but I still like it. You get a couple of custom skins, and I personally prefer the blue one, and overall, it's really not a bad-looking design. Landing is easy, since this thing doesn't really have a lot of lift anyway, but it's on wheels, and the landing legs aren't super strong, so you do have to be careful in the last few moments before setting down, or else it might roll around a little bit after you hit the ground. Overall, it's reasonably similar to landing other low-tiered wheeled helicopters. To close out on the IAR-316B. This helicopter has a heavy load of weapons for its BR, it's got a reasonably good optical zoom, it's pretty easy to fly, and it gets premium bonuses. However, all of its weapons are very short range. It's basically made out of rice paper, and its three-bladed rotor doesn't generate much lift. The final verdict on the IAR-316B is that this is actually one of my favorite helicopters, even if it struggles a bit with survivability. If you don't have this and you see it come up for sale, at least give it a test drive. You might actually like it. As always, thanks for watching.